गाइस वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू हो इन नेविगोस लास्ट वीडियो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट विजिबिलिटी ऑफ लाइट्स ज्योग्राफिकल रेंज विजिबिलिटी मेट्रोलॉजिकल विजिबिलिटी नॉमिनल रेंज प्रेजेंट लुमिनस रेंज एंड वी स्टॉप्ड एट अ कांसेप्ट ऑफ राइजिंग डिपिंग एंड फर्स्ट साइटेड एंड लास्ट साइटेड इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ चार्ट वर्क कांसेप्ट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ राइजिंग एंड डिपिंग व्हाट इज फर्स्ट साइटेड एंड व्हाट इज लास्ट साइटेड सो गाइस लेट अस लुक इनटू इट so the main thing is that at your geographical range it is known as rising and dipping and at your present luminous range that is called as first sighted and last sighted these are the similar things so the rising and first sighted are the same thing and the dipping and the last sighted are the same things not uh, what is theoretically but it's what is actually you are seeing something for the first time and for the last time that is Similar so that in that scenario it's same, but we will discuss what is the little bit difference between this rising dipping and first sighted and last sighted, where and when to use these words. So guys, let us look into it. So when you are coming towards any object, if you are coming towards say lighthouse, these things are called as a rising, and also called as first sighted. And if you are moving away from something, that is when it is called as dipping, and it is called as last sighted so this is the concept that was saying that these are the same thing in the sense that when you are moving towards an object it is called as rising in geographical range and it's called as first sighted in your present luminous range and if you are moving away from an object it's called as dipping at your geographical range and it is called as last sighted at your present luminous range so this rising and dipping is nothing but your geographical range terms and this first sighted and last sighted is nothing but your present luminous range terms so let us look into how these things are determined and which one to use which range to use in your calculations so guys let us consider one case where your geographical range is greater than your present luminous range i already discussed in the last video about these things if you have doubt or if you haven't seen that video go back to that video see the video you come back to this video then you will get a better idea of the videos and your terms so guys now let us look into case one that is geographical range that is greater than your present luminous range this is the concept now you have the lighthouse here this is the land and this is the sea and from the chart we obtain that this much is your we already from start we will get nominal range and in this case we cal calculated that your gr geographical range that is due to your object height and your observer height is nothing that is your gr1 that is due to your object gr2 that is due to your observer height so that's calculated and we got a limit of your geographical range so this is the limit of your geographical range limit in the sense that at this point you will be seeing this lighthouse and or you're going away this is will be the last point at which you will be seeing your lighthouse so the scenario is like when you are coming from this direction towards the lighthouse that means towards the lighthouse this is called as rising this point it is said as rising at this point this lighthouse will be rising for you and similarly if you are moving away from the lighthouse when you cross the limit at this point it is called as dipping so when you are coming towards when you cross your gr limit that is called as rising at that point and when you are moving away when your gr limit you exceed and after that you will not be able to see the lighthouse that point you said the lighthouse is dipped similarly if this is your present luminous range obtained from nominal range and meteorological visibility that how we calculated from the luminous range diagram if you have doubt how to calculate you can get back to that video where we explain how to calculate this luminous range and in this case we have the limit over here this is the limit plr limit this line this line is your plr limit in this case and now let us see when we are coming 
towards the vessel in PLR limit. If you cross the PLR limit at that point, this point it is called as first sighted. If you are coming towards the lighthouse and if you cross the PLR limit at that limit, when you cross, it is said that the lighthouse is first sighted. And when you are moving away from the lighthouse, at the point when you cross the PLR limit, that point it is said to be as last sighted of that lighthouse so guys this is how these things are calculated and this is the concept of rising dipping first sighted and last sighted in this case so in this case your plr limit is smaller than your gr limit so what we consider in these problems will be in these kinds of problems will be first sighted and last sighted every place you will be considering the least thing that means if your plr limit is smaller you should consider that if your gr limit is smaller you should consider that if your gr limit is smaller then you will be terming it as rising dipping and if your plr limit is smaller you will be terming it as first sighted and last sighted every every object and every type of questions you will be having a gr limit as well as you will be having a pr limit so whichever is smaller you will have to take that in this case we were discussing gr is larger than plr so you will be considering plr limit as your for the questions so in the next kind of case we are going to discuss about gr is smaller than your plr so let us look into it this is our lighthouse this is the land and this one this is the sea so consider this being your gr that is due to your height of object and height of your observer that is gr1 plus gr2 and similarly this is the limit of your gr and if you are crossing the limit towards the lighthouse this is called as rising similarly if you are moving away from the lighthouse it is called as dipping as well as now this is your PLR limit. You can see in this your GR limit is smaller than your PLR limit. That is GR smaller than PLR. GR is less than PLR. The same thing in this case we will see when you are coming towards the lighthouse, it is said to be as first sighted, and when you are moving away from the lighthouse, it is said to be as last sighted. So from this thing, what we God is that this GR limit is smaller than your PLR limit. So we have to consider GR limit in these types of questions. Whichever is the least, that is what you need to consider because that will be the actual scenario in which you will be seeing that lighthouse. And the terms related to is depending upon if it's GR, it will be a rising dipping. If it is PLR, it will be first sighted and last sighted. So in these types of cases, we'll be taking this GR as your calculation prospects and in the last case where gr was greater than plr you will be taking the plr limit and its values for, as for your calculations so guys now let us look into conclusion what we conclude is that if your gr is less than plr it is always rising dipping that means in this case when gr is less than plr we will always rise a lighthouse or dip a lighthouse and in the first case where plr was smaller than your gr it is always first sighted and last sighted from this conclusion what you get to know is that whichever is the least that will be the term what we will be using and that will be the actual scenario at which you will be citing rising dipping or first sighting or last sighting that lighthouse so guys i hope your concepts are clear I hope you guys understood the terms. If you have any doubts, you can put in on the comments. We will get to you. This is Ahoy Navigo signing off. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your day.